All right, well, praise the Lord who has provided me with some nice crawfish uh, to use for bait today. And it's important that the uh, crawfish are fresh. They don't necessarily need to be alive because they'll probably die pretty quickly on the hook or after you, especially if you're fishing in salt water. And I first learned that uh, you can catch big bull redfish on crawfish and also black drum on crawfish from the uh, buddy on the pier in Grand Isle, Louisiana. There is a Redeemer, Jesus, God's own Son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, Holy One. They showed up with a bunch of crawfish and expressed, hey, hey, what are y'all doing? It's like, we're fishing with crawfish for bull redfish. Cast them out there and a few minutes later pulled in a huge 40 inch plus bull redfish uh, on a crawfish and we've used them successfully uh, for a number of species including I won a, a tournament with a 30 pound black drum. We've caught real big sheephead on them. Uh, so crawfish are positive bait uh, for saltwater species that you usually think about really liking crab. And in fact there are favorite bait when we can't get fresh live crab. I don't like frozen crab at all. We've never caught a redfish or a black drum on, on a crab that had been frozen. Uh, so if we can't get fresh crab, uh, crawfish is our next choice. And they work really well the way that you hook them up. Uh, this guy is still alive. As you go through the bottom of the tail, out the top of the tail, just like that. Now let's talk a little bit about the hook and some other aspects of the technique that I think are important, especially when fishing for bull redfish, but the same techniques work real well uh, when you're fishing for bull drum or if you happen to catch a bull drum. The hook that we like to use is a 7 aught uh, Kamigatsu Octopus J hook. And it's worked really well. We like it better than circle hooks. We like it better than um, any other hook that we've tried. And just to demonstrate that hooking technique once again. You want to be looking at the bottom side of the crawfish. Go in through the bottom of the tail, kind of close to the body. Out through the top of the tail, just like that. Now, another technique that's important about how we fish these is uh, when the bull redfish hits, uh, we, we have the rod sitting in the rod holder and the drag is loose when the bull red hits. And the reason that the drag is loose is because we want to give a redfish the opportunity to run with it and to get the crawfish back in its pharyngeal teeth in the back of its throat. And uh, the redfish will crush the crawfish or crab back in its pharyngeal teeth and expose the hook a lot better than say if you just try and set the hook in the mouth when you first get the bite. So once uh, redfish starts peeling off drag, everybody can, in the boat counts to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, and then whoever's turn it is to reel it in, uh, gets the rod in their hands, or they might have the rod in their hands already. They tighten up the drag, they turn off the clicker if there is one, and they reel in the bull redfish. I tremble at the thought of judgment day Lord, I am not ready Please don't return Just yet for all my sins are and put away My cross is on the floor And I would burn 